Hi everyone, Mrs. Anderson here. Um, I am here to celebrate my fifth graders. Sadly, they won't be getting a promotion this year. Um, and we always do tropical themes. So I'm here to honor my class um, wearing my tropical gear. And um, I'm here to just celebrate my class, um, promoting class of 2020, but graduating class of 2027. Um, I am so proud of them and everything they've accomplished this year. I am so sad that we're not able to finish out the year together. Um, but I do want to take a moment to celebrate each and every one of them. Um, I created an award for everybody um, that represents who they were to me as well as who they were to the rest of the class. Okay. Um, I won't use last names for privacy, um, but here we go. Um, first off to Miss Lorena, she gets the best friend award and friend to all award. She did not have a single person that she was not friends with. She was very social and I loved it. The next award goes to Miss Allison. Allison gets the best penmanship and organization award. Um, there was no one more organized and no one who had as beautiful cursive as she did. Next award goes to Urelli. Urelli, you are getting the most confident and style icon award. There was never a day that went by that you didn't say that you were amazing and that you weren't dressed to kill. I loved it. All right, Christopher gets the award for the, being a future Dodger and the best sportsmanship award. He always had good things to say about everybody and how they played and how they did. Um, the next award goes to Miss Helena. Helena gets the fiercest friend award. She was loyal to her friends, sometimes fiercely. <laughs> The next award goes to Olivia. Olivia is the gets the most well-rounded award. She's an artist, she's in band, she's in leadership, she's a top student and the list just goes on and on. Good job, Olivia. The next award goes to Brandon. Brandon, you are getting the Legendary Leader Award. You are always setting a great example and I appreciated it. Next award goes to Angel. Angel, you're getting the Extraordinary Effort Award. No one tries harder than you do. Great job. Next award goes to Mr. Owen. He is the future scientist and most likely to invent something awesome. He, you will see him on somewhere in the future, I promise you. The next award goes to Roman. Roman, you are getting the Most Cooperative Kid Award. Nothing bothered you, and I loved that. If I asked you to do something, you did it. All right, the next award goes to Miss Meher. Meher, you are getting the Best Female Artist Award. Even though you never liked any of your artwork, you were amazing. All right, Jaden. Jaden, you're getting the Cool Kid Award. You are so easygoing, you let everything slide right off your back, and I love that about you. All right, the next award, Brie. Brie, you are getting the biggest hugger award. You would come out of nowhere and give the best bear hugs. I loved it. Connor, Connor, you're getting the awesome attitude award. You never had anything but positive things to say, and you always gave everybody your all, and I loved that. Aiden, Aiden, you are the internet expert, and you are getting the award for most likely to become a YouTube star. Next one, Savannah. Savannah, you are getting the most infectious laugh award and silly song award. You always had me laughing. Nadine D, you are getting the friend to all award. You were super sweet and always, always had a smile on your face and I appreciated that. Next one, Conrad. Conrad, you are the master of knowledge and you're getting the master of knowledge award. Um, anytime I needed something or I didn't, wasn't sure about something, I would say, oh, let's go ask Conrad. And he always knew the answer. Next award, Ashton. Ashton, you're getting the best sense of humor award. You always got my jokes. <laughs> All right. Next award goes to Austin. Austin, Austin, you are getting the best problem solver award. You're super creative and you could always solve whatever issues we were having in class. Next up, Ariana. Ariana, you are getting the most dependable and secret ninja award. 
Um, she has her black belt and she is a superstar. She's super quiet and she's just, you'd never know that she was lethal. <laughs> All right, the next one, Nate. Nate is our class skyscraper and he get, always gets the tall shelf things for me. Um, and he's getting the male artist award. He is an amazing artist. And if I had the portrait of me he drew, I would be showing you right now, but it's in class. So next award goes to Granville. Granville, you're getting the avid reader and AR leader award. Anytime he could read, he was reading in class. Next award goes to Serai. Serai, you're getting the most dependable award. I always knew if I asked you to do something, um, or do me a favor, you were in for it, and it was great. Next award goes to Bella. Bella, you are getting the biggest helper in class award and most likely to become a teacher. Next award goes to Andrew. Andrew, you are a quiet pillar of strength, and, you're, and I always look to you, and I always get your grin. So you're getting the quiet pillar of strength award. And the last award goes to Nadine O., Nadine's getting the most trustworthy and reliable award. If I ever needed to know the truth, I went to Nadine. So Nadine, that was your award. My friends, um, I will get these to you, I promise. But in the meantime, I just wanted to take this opportunity to tell you how much I loved having you in class, how proud of you I am. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get another fifth grade class as amazing as you guys. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't get to finish out the year together. I'm sorry that you guys didn't get the end of the year um, activities that you so deserved, um, but you're going to be stronger because of it and you're going to be more diligent because of it. Um, and yeah, I'm just sad that you weren't able to do the field trips, the yearbook signings, the middle school visit, um, the field day, the oh gosh, what else? Promotion. I mean, that's why I'm here in my tropical gear. Um, and most importantly, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to participate in the kickball game. You guys deserve to lose to the staff just like everybody else. Okay, guys, um, I love you guys. Visit me when you guys go up to middle school. Um, you know where I am. Always remember room 32 is a family. You guys are my kiddos and you'll always be my kiddos. And I love you guys. Um, take care and I hope to see you soon.